I didn't have many friends. Um, I oh no 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 let me rephrase that. Sorry sorry sorry. When you reached out to me, I was like whoa, and I was telling my friends I was like man I don't think I'm interesting enough. <laughs> I was like oh, what's the criteria for selecting people? Hello, my name is Noah Bunag or Nod. I'm from the class of 2019. I started mixing like my dad's like toiletries in the toilet and. I think that's where I started liking science. With Gillette, like, shaving foam, and I'd mix it with, like, his, some powder, and I'd mix it with, like, nothing happened, but <laughs> I didn't discover, like, the new, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and so I was like, maybe mixing my dad's toiletries will get me somewhere someday. But, yeah. So I like biology a lot. Um, I, I'm, physics is cool. It's too hard. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, um, science for me means the chance to kind of understand the world around us, to explore questions. When I was a kid, I wanted to be in textbooks. And I've always, I've always had that kind of like, wow, that's really ca cool kind of reaction to everything I learned in biology, except plant biology. I don't really like plant biology. But <laughs> besides plants... Um, I've always had that, you know, oh, I, I, that's really cool. Um, I wish I could learn more. How do I learn more? And so that's why, you know, I want to do research because research is how you learn more. Like, And I also have, I want to do cancer research. Um, this is inexplicably linked with uh, my grandfather's death when I was in 10th grade. Um, at that point, I was like, I want to do science, but I didn't really know what in science. But at that point, 10th grade onwards until up till today it's just been cancer research that's what i want to do um when i was a kid whenever i needed help with some homework it would always be like i'll go to a different person for different subjects and then so i owe a lot to them and so whenever i think of home i just think of them first like when i think of thailand it's just like there's this image of just my family and my friends that can't remove from it and I tend to not really associate, I don't get really attached to a place, I get more attached to people and my whole life I was raised by this group of people back in Thailand. What does it mean to be my alone time? Because I always tell my friends like, oh you know, I, I, I'd like some alone time. But then whenever I, like my alone time is basically me going online and playing games with my friends from high school. Once video games came into my life, that kind of just changed everything. Every day we just play games till 3 a.m., sleep, wake up at like 3, everyone gets online again and just rinse and repeat for the whole summer. It was, I miss it a lot. I think about it all the time. Whenever, yeah. I'm comfortable speaking English and Thai, but in terms of writing, I would say English. In terms of conveying my emotions and kind of talking about how I feel, things like that, I think I'm better at doing that in Thai. I think there's a lot more words I can use to describe my feelings and I don't know why I feel that way. Perhaps but I guess the more simple and logical explanation is just because I spent all my time at school where I write speaking English and doing stuff in English and then at home when I talk about how I feel with my family and how was my day things like that in Thai. The music from basically my early childhood and some from before I was born but roughly the late 90s, early 2000s, punk rock, things like that. We wanted to do tape days because we wanted to bring that music back and just remind everyone of like these old classic kids. And I'm just like, I can't play any instruments. And I'm just like, dang it! Great. Because one, I can have a lot of myself right now.